Welcome to Copilot Studio Agent Academy. This is Mission One Introduction to Agents. I'm April Dunham and I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft. In this mission, we'll start by answering the question, what is an agent? Then we'll break down some fundamental concepts to give you the foundation you need. And finally, we'll explore how agents work inside of Copilot Studio. So let's get started. So what do we mean when we say agent? Well, at a high level, an agent is simply an AI designed to perform a task. But not all agents are created equal. Some are very simple. Maybe they just generate a summary or an image or maybe a short answer for you. And others may be more advanced, like giving the ability to retrieve information from your data, reason over that, and provide detailed responses. And then you have action-focused agents. These don't just give you answers, but they actually do things like automating workflows and replacing repetitive tasks. Agents expand on what you can do already with Microsoft 365 Copilot. With Copilot, it's like you have your own personal assistant built into Microsoft 365. It can answer your questions, summarize your emails, generate presentations, and boost your productivity. But agents can take this a step further. They're not just about helping you as an individual, but they can transform your processes at the organizational level. They can help you orchestrate complex workflows, act on behalf of people or teams, and drive business process transformation across your business. So what's going on behind the scenes with an agent? Well, it all starts with an input. This could be a message that a user sends to the agent, like asking a question, or in the case of an autonomous agent, it could be a system event. For example, a new record that gets added to a database or an email that comes in that triggers the agent to run. From there, the agent itself takes over. At the core, it uses an LLM or a large language model. Think of that as the agent's brain. It's trained on a massive amount of data and text, and it can understand and generate human-like language. But by itself, the large language model doesn't know your business, and that's where other pieces of agents come in. The agent follows instructions that you define. And these instructions are like the rules or the playbook for how you want your agent to behave and what you want it to do. Your agent can also call tools. Tools are what can connect your large language model to the real world. Whether that's retrieving data from documents that you upload, taking action in another app, or remembering past context. And that result is the output. This might be a message back to the user or an automated action being completed on your behalf. And one of the fundamental techniques that agents use is something called RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation. Here's how it works. Let's say a user asks what's included in the Northwind Health Plus plan that isn't in the standard plan. Now the agent wouldn't just guess, it would search grounded data. In this example, a PDF with the plan details. It retrieves a relevant section, passes that along into the large language model, and then that large language model crafts a natural, easy to understand answer. And this combination of that search plus content generation is what makes the agent accurate and useful. But where do we build and manage these agents? Well, that's where Copilot Studio comes in. It's a platform for creating, deploying, and managing agents. Copilot Studio gives you one place to do it all. You can automate your workflows, you can integrate with external applications, and connect to your Microsoft 365 data. And a key benefit of Copilot Studio is the orchestration layer that it provides. Think of this orchestration layer kind of like a symphony. The conductor doesn't play every instrument, but they decide when the violins come in, when the drums should hit, and how it all fits together. In the same way, the orchestration layer of Copilot Studio does that coordination between your agent's knowledge, tools, and instructions to deliver the right outcome. And this orchestration is powered by generative AI. Generative AI gives the agent the ability to reason through your input and dynamically decide what to do next. So if the user asks a question about company policies, the agent might decide to pull that information from a company document. But if the user asks to kick off a workflow for an approval, it might call an agent flow. And this means that you don't have to hard code every possible path you can think of. With generative AI, it figures out that best combination of tools, topics, and knowledge to respond to the input and get the job done. And that's it for mission one. You've learned what an agent is, some of the core concepts behind them, and how Copilot Studio makes it possible to build them. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next mission.